The Goodspeed Opera House is a national icon in the musical theater world, and in a storm earlier this season, some of its buildings were flooded. Now, after years of bringing joy to the lives of musical theater lovers everywhere, Goodspeed is calling upon its community to help raise money to help restore its buildings. The water busted through the windows, was flowing through the building. It was, at some point, four feet high, knocked over several pianos, knocked over refrigerators, and pushed everything out, burst open the doors, and pushed all the furniture out onto the road. When Goodspeed's employees left for the day on September 25th, they had no idea that the next morning would be unlike any they'd had at Goodspeed before. That night, eight inches of rain caused the brook under the Natalie Tenney rehearsal studio to flood the studio and the building across the road. Mud was in every building, up, you know, ankle deep through the, the library and the costume shop and, uh, and the music office. Goodspeed lost one-of-a-kind costume pieces, musical instruments, and its rehearsal studio, which had just been renovated this year. And the Scherer Library of Musical Theater lost a lot of items that were on the bottom rows of its shelves. We were upstairs uh, taking each individual item that was affected by water and laying it out flat, searching for mold, cleaning up what we could, and then inventorying what we couldn't. Uh, and unfortunately, we've had to get rid of a lot of things that were damaged beyond repair or beyond um, use again. The rehearsal studio is under renovation, and the library is now open again, though its catalog will never be the same. Everything in this library was donated, and anything that will ever be in the library in the future will also be donated, so the only way that we'd be able to replace things is if somebody happened to have an identical item that they planned on donating to the library. While some items are replaceable, others, like first editions of books or notes from authors, can never be replaced. But the community has a good history of helping Goodspeed when it needs it. Goodspeed has asked for funding for projects in the past, and the community's response is usually great. For this one, we had a really great local uh, company come um, and help us out. It was uh, Mike's Auto Service over the bridge in Haddam, and they donated a percentage of all their sales in October uh, to us, which was over $1,600 for specifically for this restoration. So it's been really great to be able to count on our neighbors for this kind of project. While there's been a lot of local support for Goodspeed, there's been national support too. The Alley Theater in Houston, which was flooded after Hurricane Harvey, helped raise $12,000 for Goodspeed. Goodspeed is certainly well known. It's the birthplace of the musical Annie and several others, and its impact can be seen in the people who have come to see show after show for years. The atmosphere, I think, just the, the historic significance of the building and the kinds of shows that it brings uh, it just makes for a very enjoyable time. What's there not to love? I, I just Every time you walk out of here, you have a smile on your face and humming a tune, so it's a great thing. Though the flood happened in September, work is still ongoing, and insurance won't cover all the costs. We're trying to keep it in the forefront um, just because, you know, it looks like we're making progress, and we certainly are, but we've got a long way to go. The Save Our Studio Fund is still looking for help, and donations can be made on Goodspeed's website. For UConn Journalism, I'm Amanda Cabral.